You know, about nine years ago, a young boy walked into this company, just not, not expecting anything. He just, just wanted to be part of the thing he'd loved ever since he was a child. A little bit of time goes on, the momentum starts building, and all of a sudden, that young boy, who just seemed to be overlooked at every given opportunity, all of a sudden, he was a two-time tag team champion. All of a sudden, he had the weight of the Zero-G division on his back. Then, well then, he takes not one, not two, but three of the most twisted, demented, fucked up people that this company has ever seen to the biggest dance on our calendar, crawled through a river of his blood and beat all three of them at the exact same time. But the fairy tale doesn't stop there. Now, see, not long after that, the same boy swaggers out to the square go, defeats 29 other people and holds that case above his head. Weeks, weeks after that, the same boy walked into the Barrowlands and achieved his dream. He became the insane championship wrestling world heavyweight champion. But this, this is where the good times stop. Shug's house party, 2018. I ran myself into the ground. And DCT, being the opportunist that he is, he took the open goal and he walked out of there with the crown. Now while he masqueraded around with the momentum train that I put him on, I was left on the sidelines. I was left licking my wounds. I was left recovering, thinking that the world was trying to beat me down. But then, tragedy strikes. Insane Championship Wrestling is plunged into the darkness. The biggest hole it has ever been put into. And who arrives to save the day? Oh, you're looking at him. And from that point on, I was on the run of a lifetime. You put someone in this ring with me, it always ended the same way. Them flat on their back and one of these held high in the air. Until the square go, until February of this year, I have one bad night. And all of a sudden, I'm fodder for the fed boy. Well, that's fine, supernova. That's fine, you can sit at home. You can shine that belt up. I'm used to grinding. I'm used to grafting. I'll beat anybody that walks out that curtain as long as it ends with you. Because make no mistake about it, no, I'm... All I need is one last chance, and I will take. Uh oh. What said with passion, heartfelt, intense. Well, those are also words to use to describe this man. The other half of our main event next week. Big Shaw Samuels. I don't know, I'm being felt being looked beyond because it's not a done deal. You think of the journey that Shah Samuels took to the ICW, to the Lionheart League, to come back here, what that trophy means to him. Shah Samuels came into ICW. And that belt, that right there, could be your pathway to the belt, the Lionheart League. But the works on that trophy means to this You're man. You're talking about chances. One last chance. I've not had any chances for over seven, wait, seven years in ICW. Not one single opportunity for the biggest championship in this company. And I've got to be honest. I've got a lot more years behind me than I do in front of me doing this. This might be my only opportunity. And when I leave, and when I leave professional wrestling, what do I want to be known for? Oh, that Shaw Samuels, he was a laugh. That Shaw Samuels, he's good for a jolly. He likes a pint. No. I want him to say, Shaw Samuels, he was the best. 
He was the world heavyweight champion. And you know, this probably is going to be my last opportunity to be a world heavyweight champion. So Stevie, you're in for the fight of your life. Big match feel everyone. Next week you can't miss it. Right here on ICW Fight Club. Who will be the God. first ever winner of the Lionheart League and will go on to take on Noam Dar 